view from the seafront. It's pretty spectacular. And we'll be heading out in about 50 minutes to do some whale watching. Hopefully the whales are feeling active and we'll pose for some photos. Tickets acquired, driving down now. Because I don't fit on the bus. That's <laughs> fine. Too fat, too many ties. Your, your muscles are just too massive. So apparently there's a high chance of chundering. Well, a chance of seasickness. Oh, so, um, we're taking some of these beforehand. Here we are at the marina. Lara's got her big lens out. Apparently there's been lots of sperm whales this morning. There's always sperm whales here. And in the past month there have been blue whales and I forgot all the other kind of whales he said. Minky whales, um, yeah, I forgot the other ones too. Yeah, fingers crossed. First aboard the boat, a bit like on the plane, but you get to keep your own wheelchair and uh, you don't get pushed along, which is a bit more independence. So we just wait for the other punters now and then we set sail. Very exciting. Hopefully we won't be needing these. There were three or so steps down into the actual ship, but they helped me down. So no, no big issue. We've moved a little bit further on now uh, because there was a sighting from a plane and we've just stopped at a slightly different location. Quite a few albatrosses out and there was a pod of dolphins on the left that I managed to miss, um, but no whales yet. Hello. Apparently we've got a whale in the vicinity that's been heard on the echolocator and we're just waiting for him to surface so we have to Something doesn't be patient. Uncertainty and lots of waiting around, we did see a big old sperm whale who gave us a lovely display of his tail going in. Um, so that was a nice finale. That, alongside lots of albatross and petrels, cheeky pot of dolphins, which I missed, feeling a little bit sick, but managed not to chunder, <laughs> unlike some of the other old boys on there. But yeah. Let's just say the paper bags were used. The paper bags were definitely used several times by, by repeat offenders. <laughs> so we've had a little bit of lunch and a cheeky afternoon nap. And you did at least. Well. <laughs> and now we're on our way to do some kayaking. And it's great because it's just the two of us, um, not by intention, but presumably just because no one else booked for this particular time. Um, so it's just the two of us out on the water, along with the instructors, who 
Who are we following just who, now? Who we're following, yeah. Um, it's whom? Whom, whatever. <laughs> and um, then we have a place called Hiku booked for dinner, which is about five minutes from where we're staying. Five minutes walk, that is. So, uh, yeah, it should be good fun. And Jezza from Making Tracks has, um, who's a guy who works for the tourism industry, is that fair? Yeah. Yeah. Um, has designed a seat which helps people with spinal injuries to stay secure in the kayak. So we'll see how well that goes. Hopefully don't fall in. I can swim, I just didn't prefer not to. You can swim better than I can, to be quite yeah. honest. So. I still prefer not to. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> cool. I'll try and get some footage on the GoPro yeah. from the chest strap. Yeah. The trunk control is a bit, a, a bit of an issue, but actually because of this backrest, I do feel pretty secure. Um, I think I might struggle when it comes to paddling, but we'll see. I'm in a double kayak and Lara's in the back, so um, it's not just me. So if I do fall in, I've got her to blame. And I've got this kind of splash thing on to stop water from coming in. You've got a life vest on that you can't see. Right, come on Lara, put, put some welly in mate. It's actually not as bad, like, lateral stability wise as I thought. To any of these onlookers, I'm just another normal human. Nobody knows I'm actually the world's most handsome man. Recipient of the, uh, the award, five years running now. Now we're out on the water, we've got loads of time out here, all right? It's literally just us, as I said earlier, so we can pretty much go wherever you guys want. There's no real set route or set plan, we'll just get out there, have a good time, see what we can find. So these pied shags are pretty weird in the fact that they are seabirds, but they nest in trees. So if we have a look to our left here, you can see the white chest just at the top of those trees. So these guys are one of only five types of bird in the whole world that have webbed feet and nest in trees. So what we're going to do is we will make our way out towards the sharp tooth point, this area out here, which is where we're more likely to find the seals out there. So 